Good morning. Good morning. Man. Could you explain a bit about your breakfast? Um, it's pretty simple. It's just um, an egg bagel. I put on some gouda cheese mm -hmm. and then these are some refried beans, some tomatoes, mm -hmm. some peppers. Mm -hmm. Um, actually leftovers to tell the truth <laughs> um, and so I heated it up a little bit mm -hmm. and that's it basically want to drink anything mm, maybe afterwards mm -hmm. not really thirsty now sure. uh -huh. <laughs> pretty little though yeah very how cute. old were we in this picture the picture two and five two, two and five. five. Oh, okay oh, I really like this photo so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, the, how about the other one? And this one's from when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I'm doing something that I have done since I was 10, mm -hmm. still do now, mm -hmm. called Morris dancing. Mm -hmm. What is Morris dance? It's um, a type of English folk dancing. Mm -hmm. And it's from the west, western part of England, the Cotswolds. And mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's traditionally done only by men. Mm -hmm. um, it was traditionally done. This is a note, a, a notebook that I think I was keeping probably while I was working in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. That, um, why was I, I guess I was just using it for studying. Mm -hmm. Some of it's not very organized studying. We, we have sent you or, you know, but Tatanka is you made, made up, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was what basically. Is I think it was because I was writing a lot of these kinds of sendu, mm -mm. Um, and it's by its nature very limited in form. You only have, what is it, 14 syllables, mm -hmm. I think, total, uh, 17 or something, right? Um, sendu is sort of a, there's a tradition of writing things that are about daily life and that aren't, aren't necessarily so cerebral or anything, mm -mm. but as far as I know, there's not really a tradition of that in Tanka, so... Uh, I started, I wanted to write the same things I'd been doing in Sendu, except mm -hmm. I wanted the extra lines, mm -hmm. so I wrote Datanka. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, and a kind of joking, or uh, yeah. put a punchline. Yeah, so they, they usually, they were, they were silly and, and mm -hmm. inconsequential for the most part. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a book I've been trying to get through recently, mm -hmm. practice my Chinese. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I started reading a lot of children's books, mm -hmm. and... This is one of the first somewhat more adult level books that I'm reading. Um, if you look inside it, um, Taiwanese children's books mm -hmm. usually have um, these uh, phonetic characters written next to the Chinese characters called Bopomofo. Uh -huh. um, and this book doesn't have that. Mm, I see. Um, and the, the, the grammar used, the sentence phrasing and stuff is a little bit more well, this is uh, Sanshin, um, and it's uh, an instrument from Okinawa mm -hmm. in southern Japan. Um, and its its ancestor is the Chinese uh, Sanshian, which um, at some point was transmitted to the Ryukyu Kingdom, and it shrunk a little bit and became the Okinawan Sanshin. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it was actually transmitted up to Japan, where it became the Japanese Shamisen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What is the title? Uh, that one's uh, Gunjan Gunjan Jintoyo. Mm -hmm. Means? Um, Gunjan is an area of Okinawa, northern northern part of the island. Mm -hmm. And Jintoyo, I've heard. I've heard that it may not mean anything. It may just be a uh, uh, just mm -hmm. something that you say, or it could be actually um, maybe it means really. I've also heard that it means that mm -hmm. um, sort of like. Uh, in Japanese, uh, jin shin, like majime, ma, mm -hmm. that one, and then toyo. Mm -hmm. um, after that, to as just sort of emphasis particles mm -hmm. added to the end. Mm -hmm.